What's up home bartenders? Today we're talking glassware. I'm gonna show you about 20 different types of glasses that I use in my home bar. Oh yeah, glasses, let's do it. All right, so rocks glasses are kind of your most essential um, glassware in your bar. So you definitely, this is definitely number one on the essential list. You definitely want some rocks glasses. So sometimes called a low ball glass, sometimes called an old fashioned glass. Uh, it's basically your standard short drinking glass. Um, I've, as you can see, I've got a huge variety of them here. Um, they're anywhere from eight to 10, sometimes even more, 12 ounces. Actually, some of them are actually called double old fashioned glass. Doesn't mean it's double the size, it just means that they're on the bigger end of the glasses. These are typically for drinks that are served on the rocks, um, either with cubes or one large rock. Um, think an old fashioned, Negronis, uh, margaritas. Um, sometimes served with crushed ice. A Mai Tai typically served in a rocks glass with crushed ice. So you've got a lot of versatility in a rocks glass. Definitely number one essential rocks glass. Moving on. All right, so our second category of essential glassware is your highball glass. We did the low ball, now we're on to the highball. So typically a tall, thin glass, sometimes called a Collins glass, although there actually is a difference between a highball and a Collins. I think the Collins is thinner and taller, but they're fairly interchangeable. Usually around like 10 to 12 ounces, sometimes a little more, up to 15 ounces. These typically are meant to serve uh, obviously with ice, so either some ice cubes or sometimes you can get those nice big ice spears, um, but served on the rocks and typically a cocktail that's gonna be topped with a mixer. So topped with uh, with either soda or cola or juice or whatever. Thinking, think Tom Collins, Mojitos, Long Island iced tea. Those kind of drinks typically served in a highball glass. So yeah, definitely number two on the list of essential uh, glassware, your highball glass. Moving on. Kind of embarrassed, I only have one style of highball glass. I'm definitely definitely gonna have to, uh, you know, get another kind. All right, our third category of essential glassware is stemmed glasses. So any glass that has a stem on it, obviously there's a, there's a huge array of different styles of stemware. It's an essential category, however, you don't need every style. So we're gonna break down the different types of stemmed glasses and which ones you should have. So right off the bat, let's, uh, wine glasses, obviously if you're a wine drinker, you should have these on hand. For cocktails, not super important, but you got your white, this is a white wine glass. Red wine is, tends to be larger, more round. Um, champagne flute, again, if you like champagne, you should have those around, but for cocktails, not so much. Uh, a brandy snifter, um, if you're drinking brandy, a lot of tiki drinks are made in brandy snifters, but again, not essential. Martini glass, definitely not an essential glass. I'm pretty sure everyone has these in their home uh, because they gained such popularity in the early 1900s, um, but it's such a bad design for a drink. First of all, they're they're absurdly huge. These, some of these, uh, this one's actually on the small end, but uh, there are some martini glasses that are like 15, 16 ounces, which is ridiculous because a martini is only about a three, three and a half ounce drink. So why would you serve it in such an absurdly large vessel? Anyways, I digress. You don't need, if you have martini glasses, great. You don't really need them. The coupe is probably your most essential stemmed glass. So it's about six to eight ounces. Um, this one's on the higher end. It's great for daiquiris. It's great for martinis, uh, Manhattans, pretty much anything. Um, there's a little more room there. So some drinks that you top with a little bit of uh, champagne or something, it does have that extra, a little bit of extra volume. So a uh, coupe is definitely an essential cocktail glass. Slightly smaller than the coupe is the Nick and Nora. So this one's about four, five, six ounces at, at the very most. Um, and this is this is perfect for the martini. Throw away your martini glasses. All you need is a Nick and Nora. Uh, they're small, they're elegant. They don't take up space in your cupboard. It's a fantastic uh, cocktail glass. Essential, you know, make, take your pick. Coupe or Nick and Nora. If, as long as you got one of these in your bar, you'll, you'll be great for any stemmed drinks. Um, you don't need anything else than that. These guys here are just kind of old school 
or vintage uh, wine glasses, which I find work great as fancy stemware. Um, so yeah, they're great. All right, move on to the next category. All right, moving on to our first non-essential category. These are tiki glasses, tiki mugs. So totally not necessary, but a whole lot of fun. They're decorated, uh, often resembling carved wooden figures or animals or other uh, tropical Polynesian motifs. And it just adds so much to the drink experience. You know, when you get a tiki drink that's served in a proper tiki mug and it has that lavish garnish on it with like a thousand different elements. It really does add a lot to the experience of the drink. Is it necessary? Absolutely not, but it's a whole lot of fun. So get yourself some tiki mugs. Our next category of non-essential glassware, I'm calling miscellaneous because these are basically custom glassware for a specific drink. So let's go through some of these. So right here we have the Hurricane Glass, most notably known for the Hurricane Cocktail right out of New Orleans. But you also have this one, which is very similar. This is technically called a Poco Grande Glass. Very similar, but it's shorter, a little fatter. And this one was created for the Pina Colada. A lot of people make a pina colada in a hurricane glass. Technically, Poco Grande. I know, who cares? <laughs> if you've been a subscriber for a while, you know that I love Moscow mules or various mules. Um, check out my 100 mule journey that I took a while ago. And the Moscow mule famously served in a copper mug. Condensation forms on the outside and it really holds on to the cold. So your drink stays frosty and colder much longer. Also in the same vein of uh, metal glasses, we have the julep cup or pewter. Um, and essentially same idea, it's a metal cup and you serve your mint julep in one of these and the outside will get all nice and frosty and your drink will remain cold and undiluted longer. The Pearl Diver Glass, conceived for the Pearl Diver Cocktail. This is also a tiki glass, so it was also in the last category. Another one of those drinks that has its own uh, glass. So this is basically like a highball that opens up into a coupe at the end. I think that's, that's basically what the design was, was how do we mix a coupe with a highball? Irish coffee mug. It's, there's a few different styles of Irish coffee mug. I like the ones with the handle, this one here, uh, mainly so you don't have to actually touch the hot glass because you know it is a hot drink. Uh, these are great for Irish coffee but also for any other cocktail that is served hot. So think um, hot toddies, hot drinks, this style mug is great. Now you may think this is just another highball glass but this is actually a fizz uh, glass. This is the Rydell fizz glass and it's specifically made for fizz cocktails. So think like uh, the Ramos gin fizz or any other, any other drink, a fizz drink that typically has um, some soda as well as egg white in it. Um, they're typically not served with ice, but these are made slightly smaller. I believe this is eight to 10 ounces, somewhere in that range. The Glencairn. So this is a Glencairn glass and specifically for drinking whiskey. So that tulip shape and that, that really narrow rim is great for nosing a whiskey so that you get the aromas right in your nose and it's just the perfect way to drink a whiskey neat. Shot glass. You don't need these. You're not in college anymore. <laughs> but definitely good to have around, if anything, to measure alcohol if you don't have a jigger or anything like that. Um, occasionally to take, but I mean, you know, stop buying these at every souvenir shop in every town in, in the whole in the world. Uh, you don't need another shot glass. A port or sherry glass. This is basically like a very small wine glass, about one to two ounces, and just basically for sipping um, fortified wine, port or sherry, something like that. Beer glass or pint glass. Obviously, if you're um, serving beer, you're gonna want some of these. Uh, but what's great about these kind of standard pint glasses, standard bar beer glasses, is they also work and seal into your uh, large mixing tin. So for mixing glasses, these guys are great. I'm sure there are more kind of uh, uh, miscellaneous glasses, but I believe these are all the ones I have. Let's move on to our final category. 
All right, the final category of our non-essential glassware is acrylic glassware. Because if you're like me and you love hosting, I mean, the whole reason you have a home bar is so you can make cocktails for friends and family. So if you're hosting outside by the pool, in the hot tub, you're not gonna wanna be bringing your expensive, fragile uh, glassware. I mean, imagine trying to fish broken glass out of the pool. Ugh, never gonna happen. You're gonna have to empty the whole damn thing. You're gonna wanna get yourself some glassware that is plastic and shatterproof. And these acrylic glasses are fantastic. And if you're serious about cocktail making, I mean, come on, you're not gonna serve a Manhattan in one of these, okay? No, no, don't do that. Pretty much every style of glass that we uh, covered tonight is available in acrylic. And I'll leave some links below if you wanna get your own kind of a, a coupe or a Nick and Nora or even a friggin' uh, pearl diver glass in acrylic. Uh, you've got lots of options. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. That was my run through of all the glassware that I use in my home bar. I did say I would tell you the three, my three favorite places for buying glassware. So number three, Amazon. I mean, how can you go wrong? Amazon has friggin' everything and it's usually delivered next day. My second favorite place is specialty cocktail shops. Now there aren't any in Ottawa, but so I do have to shop online, but my two favorite are Cocktail Kingdom and Cocktail Emporium. So from there, you, you can buy a lot of anything from, from bitters to cocktail books. And of course, they've got a huge selection of glassware. And finally, my favorite place for getting glassware, thrift stores. It's super cheap and you can find some really awesome vintage cocktail glasses at your local thrift store. That's it for me today, guys. Make sure you comment below what's your favorite kind of glass or uh, glass types of glasses. Is there anything I miss? Is there a type of glass that I miss and you, you think I should cover? Yeah, subscribe if you're not subscribed and uh, yeah, you know, gonna enjoy this whiskey and we'll see you next time. Cheers.